In this video, I'd like to introduce you to a tool that you have available inside your Metasac program that could be very useful to you. It's called the Performance Indicator. The Performance Indicator will tell you the percentage change over any time period that you have loaded in your chart. For example, I've got a chart here of Amgen. In my drop down list, if you scroll down to the indicator that's called Performance and drag that into an inner window of the chart, it'll plot this red kind of squiggly line. Now what this red squiggly line is trying to tell you here is the percentage moves over any period. So for example, it starts off at a value of zero at the very first data point of our chart, which is May 4th. And then if I put my pointer on any of the points inside the line, it'll give you the date of that point and also a value. So for example, in this case, on August 10th of 2011, it has a value of a negative 16.3. What that means is that Amgen is 16.3% lower at this point on our chart as compared to the very first data point. And then over here on the far right hand side of this indicator it's showing a value of 23.28 and that's showing that Amgen is up over 23% at this point in time. Now this indicator can actually be used in a number of different ways. But let's say hypothetically that you've owned a security since the first of the year and you want to just see how well it's done. So the first thing you'd want to do is load the chart that's of interest to you. So for this example, let's say that you have Amgen and you've owned it since the first of the year and you only want to see how well it's done since that point going forward. Well, there's a couple different ways you can go about it. Number one is you could reload the chart and tell it to only load the data from the beginning of January up until the most recent date. Or if you've already got the chart loaded, a fast way to do it is down here at the bottom. This is called the x-axis. And if you right click inside the x-axis and then choose what's called the x-axis properties, you can then choose the data that's actually loaded in the chart and then is also displayed. So for example, I'm going to change the loaded date to the first of the year, so January 1st of 2012, and then the date that's also displayed to January 1st of 2012 as well. Click on OK. And now the data that begins is on the first data point at the beginning of January, up through the most recent bar and now I can see my performance indicator is showing me a value of 10.9 saying that for the year of 2012 up to the most recent date Amgen is up 10.9 percent or almost 11 percent for the year. Now another thing that might be useful for you is maybe comparing this to other securities or maybe to an index. So maybe if you'd like to see how Amgen is done as compared to an index we could then load the performance of the index and then compare the indicators against each other. So for example, let's go ahead and load the S&P 500 index. So to load the S&P, I'll just go ahead and open up the chart. The symbol is .SPX. That's the actual index itself. And now what I want to do is I want to plot the performance indicator on the S&P. So again, for my drop-down list, I'll drag it into an inner window. Click on OK. And now I want to see my two charts side by side, so I'll click on either the column button up here at the top, or I can also choose window and choose column from the drop down list. So I've got my two charts here side by side. Now, if I put my pointer directly on the performance indicator inside the S&P chart and drag it into the same inner window of Amgen, it'll first ask me how I want to display the indicator and I want to make sure and merge it or choose the same scale so they're comparing against each other and by doing that I'll be able to see exactly how they did against each other visually now to help distinguish which one is which I would probably want to change the color of one of these lines so for example maybe I'll click on the S&P and then down here at the bottom I'll just choose a different color so I can just see which one is which. So in this case the red line is Amgen and the blue line is the S&P. And now I'll just expand this chart. And now if I want to see how other securities have also done compared to the S&P over the same time period, all I have to do is swap out the security inside this chart. A fast way to change the security inside the chart is just type your symbol right when the windows open, hit your enter key and it'll change at that point. And now we're looking at, for example, like Intuit. And now you can see the performance of these two different securities. Again, the blue line is the S&P 500 index, and the red line is the performance of Intuit. And I can see exactly how they performed against each other. 
So I hope that that's been helpful, and for more Metastock training, please visit our website at www.learnmetastock.com.